Greetings, Stickback fans, especially those that like Musu. So what you have here before you are all three of the Musus that I've reviewed so far. And the one on the Airflow box is the new budget-oriented XL618A. Now if we get lucky, I think I can take the filters out of this thing as we measure it and get four actual measurements. So we have two speeds, that is a low and high, and I think we can do the filters in and out. The brush roll, of course, continues to spin no matter what you do. So let's start out on low speed and see what we get. That's pretty high for low speed. I mean, we're, we're pretty much at about 29 CFM. Okay, now I'm going to put it on high speed. Well, there, there you go. That definitely is 29 CFM. So the trigger locks so I don't have to hold it. And that's very respectable. I mean, remember, this is a budget-oriented stick bag. So I'll call it at 35.2 CFM. Now I have to take the filters out. And the filters are kind of unusual because one is a filter like you would recognize, and the other one is a screen. I have removed both interior filters and as a reminder don't run the machine without the filters it, it needs them. As you can see right here you have something that you would normally recognize and then this is kind of unusual it's a screen. So let's see what we get. Let's see how much airflow the screen and this interior filter actually bogs this thing down CFM wise. Low speed first. Okay, now high speed. Well, it definitely doesn't appear like these two filters actually drag down the airflow a whole lot at all. Low speed first. Maximum motor base suction, all filters in.
this is quite a surprise. Two things. One, as you have it on low speed, it actually spins the brush roll at the lower RPM. So that's that's different than I've ever measured. And if you uh, put it on high speed, then it raises the RPM. But did you notice for both speeds over time, as the battery begins to drain, the brush roll speeds for both low and high begin to drop. So you may start at a certain level with a full charge, and then over time, it just drops and drops and drops. But this is the only stick vac I've ever tested where if you put it on high speed, the brush roll RPM also increases. I can't say as I see any evidence of exhaust filtration on this XL618A. It looks like it just comes straight out of this side and then of course on the other side. So let's see what happens. Okay, so for the first time in me running this particle counter over the many years I've had it, we have a major problem here. And this is, well, look at these really high particle counts, okay? You've got hundreds of thousands, and then thousands, and then I never have anything in the 10 uh, micrometer range, you know, like say 20 something. And look at the little vertical white bar that normally sits way over in the green this is now in the yellow and it start out in the orange now the only reason why it's going to do that is because something is being ejected out of here that is beyond simple carbon dust you could have a wide variety of things coming out of there but bottom line is it's not good and also I heard the motor actually varying its speed and I wasn't touching it so there's something wrong actually with this machine and because the particle count is so high I'm guessing and it, it's just a guess that maybe it's burning through its carbon brushes entirely too fast but something isn't right because I've never seen a particle count that high